please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hello, I'm Tyler Tussle, and I will be your anchor this week for Mr. Breka's speech class. I'm just trying my hand at this anchoring thing, so thanks for joining me. Today we have clubs and sports shield information, all that and so much more because GTV News starts right now. Today is September 14th, and here are your morning announcements. Look around, Geneva. Do you see anyone worthy of a title? As everyone is preparing for the first Burgess Field homecoming, make sure to vote for who you want to see on the court this year. You can check your emails for the links or find a QR code posted around the school. Today after school, GTV Club will be meeting in the GTV studio by the Mac Olson doors. Anyone is welcome to come. Contact Miss Benny with any questions. FCCLA will be starting again today after school in EE 182. They will be going over homecoming information and making monkey bread. Join if you are interested in culinary arts, fashion, interior design, or childcare. Get ready to roll the dice and take a chance on the Dungeons and Dragons group here at GHS. The gang meets in the library on Thursdays. They are currently looking for a sponsor for their club, so if you're interested, please reach out to Nick Reich. The speech team will be meeting today after school in room CC154. Contact Miss Bailey Cole or Mr. Breka if you are unable to attend. The next SAD Club meeting will be today after school in room EE191. All new members are welcome to join. As a freshman one act comes together, it's almost time for upperclassmen to get the spotlight for this year's fall play in Midsummer Night's Dream. The auditions for the Shakespearean comedy are next Monday. Any student interested in ping pong, also known as table tennis, can stop by room H220 this Friday from 3 to 4.15, or see Mr. Sweeney for more information. Feel free to bring your paddle if you have one, but if not, there are some you can borrow. Lots of wins and some losses over the weekend with Geneva Sports. GTV reporter Quinn Kennedy has the latest in today's Sports Shield report. Hey everyone, we've got a big week of sports ahead of us, so let's dive right in. Let's start with football. Glenbard North was a tough week for Geneva. The sophomore team had a physical battle and ended up winning the game 34-6, while being led by QB Nate Sumtowski. He made defenders look funny while on a 97-yard touchdown run. Varsity was off to a great defensive performance, and we had struck first with an 83-yard touchdown pass by Alex Porter to Tyler Tusi. Sadly, the team could not hang on, and they ended up falling short, losing 7-21. Good luck, boys. The boys and girls cross country team both had a podium finish at the Royal Cadet Invite this weekend. The girls placed third and the boys won the meet. The girls were placed by top 10 performer Lily Ryan with Brady Ahern and Nathan Lehman placing second and third to pace all Geneva runners. Congratulations to everyone who competed. The girls tennis team is playing against St. Francis away at St. Francis today. They hope to improve the record to one and two. Good luck, girls. The boys' soccer team lost to Oswego on Saturday. The final score was one to four. The boys look to bounce back at home against Wheaton Warrenville South tonight. The game starts at six. Good luck, boys. That's it for today. Good luck to all the athletes competing this week. Back to the desk. Thanks, Quinn. Here's a look at the weather. The high is 85 and the low is 65 with a 20% chance of rain so you might want to pack that umbrella just in case. And now, here, now here's three to know before we go. National English Honor Society applications will be due on Monday, September 20th. Scrubs Club will be meeting next Thursday after school in H216. Rooted, a plant club, will be meeting tomorrow after school in room B121. Well, Geneva, that's all the announcements we have for you today. I'm Tyler Tussle, and have a top-notch Tuesday.